Don't got no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Yeah. Make this spread fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the phone and I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Y'all don't wanna, they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a purr. Yeah. Smack from the back of a purr. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Shit, you know, all you little turds. Can't take that dude, it's your turn. In my own land, we can't merge. Yeah. So, with no hands, you can learn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can earn. Yeah. Why me go get like the worm? Yeah. And I ain't smoking no shirt. Yeah. I'm with the BVP lady. Keep me, keep me skinny. I love my bitches, it's pretty. They showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling. Yeah. I let her run through a million, I rock with her really, let's fuck on the bed yeah. I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains yeah. It's a C1 of fulfilling, yeah. smoke out the pound when I'm chilling Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley, also known as Ash for Plays, and we are back with another episode from my Discovery University Let's Play series. And as you can tell by the intro, we are finally doing the tailgate party. So we're currently at Cameron's frat house and both Brychester and Foxbury students are attending the tailgate party for the Brychester versus Foxbury game tonight. And so the party actually just started we're still waiting on a couple of sims to show up but before we get into the party i do want to talk about what is on the agenda for today's video so the first half will be the tailgate party and then the second half of the video will be focused on celebrating new year's eve and so last episode i mentioned that we won't be celebrating new year's eve with the twins instead we're going to be celebrating with someone else and it's going to be matthew you guys <laughs> We're going to be playing with baby Matthew and we're going to be going to Brindleton Bay to visit his family and he's going to be bringing Jordan along so that she can meet Matthew's parents as well as his siblings. I do want to point out that there's going to be around 50 sims at this party and I don't even think half of them are here but with 50 sims on one lot I do anticipate on my game being a little bit laggy so I'm just gonna apologize in advance for that. Um, let me show you a few more frat members. You guys already met them all but just to give you a quick refresh. This is Kilo Gregory. He is on DJ duty. Here's Sean Yoshida. He's in charge of making the drinks at the bar. I'm gonna be controlling these two just to make Make sure that they're doing their job let me see if there's any more frat members okay so here's devin then we have Ryder Adams. He's also on the soccer team. And then we also have four new frat members. So the first one is Marcelo Gonzalez. He's also on the soccer team with Ryder. The second is Rafi Singh. You guys saw him last episode. Next is Romeo Gomez. And if you don't remember, this is Chastity's ex. And then the final member that just joined is Cameron. And then we have baby Matthew. And of course he's dead. <laughs> Y'all, Matthew is my favorite sim ever. Like, he is my favorite sim ever. <laughs> Y'all, I love Matthew so much. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Not everyone and their mother actually being in the pool. I'm, I'm actually shocked by that. I'm gonna control Matthew, and I'm gonna find Jordan. <laughs> Where is she? Is she here? Hello? Oh, she's over here eating pizza. Let's call her over. So that she can dance with Matthew. Hello? Now I'm trying to talk to Cordelia. Absolutely not. It's the fact that he's trying to vibe and you're over here with an attitude. Like, absolutely not. Let's see what Cameron's doing. I think he has a, yeah, he has a joint. I'm gonna have a smoky, y'all. Like, it's a frat party. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, while he's doing that, <laughs> I want to be messy, y'all. So with that being said, I think the last frat party we had was on Spooky Day. And if you don't recall, I was going to have Rafi flirt with Chastity to see what she does. And I kind of low-key want to do it at this party. So while he's too busy doing that, I think I want her to quote-unquote go to the bathroom and have her run into Rafi. If I can find him, hello? I'm confused, did Rafi leave? Oh, I know why he's not here, he's at the game. He, I think he's at the game because I don't see Marcelo or Ryder here either. And they're they're soccer players. Yeah, they went, they went to the game. I completely forgot. 
<laughs> they had to do that. Okay, scratch that. We won't do it. But instead, I think I want to be even more messier. I think I'm going to have Gina talk to Cameron, y'all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have Gina talk to Cameron. I'll do it after I have Matthew talk to Jordan though. Ooh, kiss and grinds. Intimate kiss, sure. <laughs> Fire! What? Oh my god, y'all. Where is the fire? Y'all, please don't leave. Y'all, please. What? Oh my god. one party without a fire happening please no we're not calling a fire Cameron please please stop <laughs> Wow, what a sound. Camille, of course she got an attractive alert. Okay, so she got it for Victoria Martinez. In the midst of a fire, of course she would have an attractive alert. Like, hello? Hello? Why is she crying? It's not that deep, y'all. <laughs> Everyone is just freaked out. <laughs> we can still party, please. <laughs> this is so ghetto. <laughs> Y'all, please. Please come back. We can still have the party. I spent way too long prepping for this, y'all. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have Khalil go take a shower and we're gonna... Better yet, you know what? Cameron, you're on You're on DJ duty now. Get to it. <laughs> Anyways, can I kind of track this alert for um, Victoria Martinez? I was gonna show her, but one, it's mad crowded out here, and two, it's super dark. Like, I'm hoping the lights turn on soon. It should, though. It, it should. I'm gonna wait until lights turn on to introduce her, because I, I don't even know where she went. Okay, well, speaking of Camille, I want her to talk to a few sims. I want her to catch up with Tasha, and then I also want her to hang out with Kennedy, and if we have time, hang out with Joy, too, because I kind of want her to take somebody home tonight. Like, we ain't done that in a minute. <laughs> Camille's hungry. I'm gonna have her grab a slice of pizza. I don't want to have her talk to Tasha. But while she's doing that, I found Victoria. She's in here. But this is Victoria Martinez. She was submitted by one of my good friends, Anna. I will have her YouTube channel linked in the description down below. Here's what her bio reads. Meet Victoria Martinez. She is Puerto Rican, 19 years old, and loves to cook. She's found comfort in cooking and baking whenever she is stressed or sad. She wants to become a chef and make her grandma who taught her all the tricks proud. Victoria is currently pursuing a distinguished degree in culinary arts and her traits are foodie loves outdoors perfectionist romantic and self-assured and a fun fact about this sim is that when i was prepping and play testing for this party her and romeo were talking non-stop like they were literally glued at the hip so i did a little bit of tweaking <laughs> and i added a little bit of romance to their relationship i did that with like a lot of the frat members because like they're frat boys like <laughs> of course they're gonna be hello Excuse me? Quick question. Dina Caliente and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Why are you hitting up your stepdaughter about this? I wouldn't do that. Like, Danny, please. Oh, Alright, they got the party back in order. Cameron is currently in charge of DJing while Khalil is taking a shower to freshen up from <laughs> being burned alive. <laughs> like I was saying before, I'm gonna have Camille talk to Tasha for a bit. Uh, I don't know y'all like I just don't see Camille wanting to do this with Tasha like she's okay with doing this with any other sim but not Tasha not her best friend not her childhood friend because what if things become awkward between them like she would be too scared to do that we're just gonna give Tasha a hug and whatever happens after that happens I'm gonna have Matthew dance with Jordan and hopefully the DJ move doesn't catch on fire again no, Frass his pips a Oh, they're so cute. Oh, 
Yo. <laughs> get it, Matthew. Get it. Oh my God. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Hello, are those fireworks? Oh my gosh, what? Oh, that's so cute. I hope we won the game. <laughs> Hello? Why is it neat? Okay. Oh, Maddie got a want. Give a massage to Jordan. Y'all look at Gina. Grisham. Now I want to talk to Cordelia again. I'm going to let him do it. I'm going to let him do it. And these about new show. Why does he want to talk to Cordelia so bad? Matthew. Is Khalil out of the shower? Oh my God. <laughs> this man, please. Please put some clothes on and get back to DJing. <laughs> now that the game is technically over, I think I'm gonna spawn. Oh, they're back, they're back. Oh, this is so perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna control Rafi. I'm gonna have him go inside and change. Realistically, I need him to take a shower. Like he's probably smelly from the game. And then once he's done with that, he's gonna come in here, maybe grab a beer and then find Chasty and talk to her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have Cameron come over here. Actually, you know what? I'll have him grab a beer too. I'm gonna check on Camille, see if she's talking. Oh, she's playing ping pong. Oh, she's playing ping pong with Devin. Okay, hold on now, what's going on here? <laughs> now you're changing into a swimsuit. Winner, Camille Jones. Loser, Devin Barnes. Okay, I'm gonna have Camille talk to Kennedy next. Is Rafi done with his shower? He is. Okay, well, hello? Excuse me? Avery! <laughs> not Avery hooking up. No, do not talk to Seven. Do not talk to Seven. Okay, where's Chastity? Where's Chastity? Okay, hold on. So much micromanaging right now. Oh, she was talking to Simon. Wait a minute, hold on. There is so much going on. Whoa, why did her friendship meter go up so high? Why does she have beef with Cameron? She also has beef with Tasha. Wait, why is she beefing with Tasha? Y'all, hold on. I'm so messy. Okay, so she's beefing with Romeo. That that makes sense. And then she's also beefing with Wolfgang. Why does Chastity have so much beef? Okay, I'm gonna have her go inside, act like she's going to the restroom, and then she's gonna pass by Rafi. Y'all, magnetic bosom from talking to attractive Sim. No way. Camille, girl, I need you to calm down. Should we flirt? She didn't get that with Tasha, so. <laughs> Maybe we just compliment her appearance. Oh, Did the interaction cancel? It did. Okay, I got too much going on. I got too much going on. We need to focus on one thing at a time. Like, there's just so much going on, y'all. There's just so much going on. Like, what? Why is she sad? She's sad because of Cameron? Girl, okay, so she was going to the bathroom to freshen up, right? And Rafi saw her and was like, hey, hey, I think I remember you from the last party. You were dressed as Jessica Rabbit, right? <laughs> Should we do a flirty introduction? No, 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 no. We're not, like, he, he's smooth with it, but I don't, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a friendly introduction. Hello, Chastity girl. <laughs> cool, say <Sebo>. bye. <gasps> Y'all. Oh, she's sad. So yeah, he was like, I remember you from that party and I was wondering if I can um, get to know you. Her being sad is taking, I'm deleting this. I'm so sorry, y'all, like, girl. Okay, we got first impressions. Let's check them first. Okay, so one, they're not compatible. That's, oh, oh. 
All right, so it looks like Rafi has a sophisticated first impression on chastity. The sim seems to be a person of good taste and knowledge. And then chastity has an unreliable first impression on Rafi. A sim who gives the impression that they can never stick to one thing, place, job, or person doesn't inspire chastity to build a friendship. So off rope, chastity's already, like, first of all, she's already, like, annoyed that he's bothering her while she's trying to go to the bathroom so maybe this wasn't the best thing to do but he's still gonna try to pursue her we're gonna have him compliment her so just compliment her because she did look good <laughs> i mean he gonna call it like it is oh whoa <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> Is she not feeling it? Wait a minute. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I was expecting Chess to cheat. Like, she has a zero romantic aspiration. She also prefers non exclusive romantic relationships. Complain about Professor? Oh, baby, don't do that. Because if this is a professor that I'm thinking about, she thinks very fondly of that man. Um, if you haven't watched my Day in the Life video of Chastity, you guys will see her professor there. But we're going to try again with Chastity. Maybe flatter her? Like, I don't want him to straight up flirt with her. What? She's not feeling him at all! Oh Oh my god! Yeah, she's not giving him the time of day. She said, you are not Cameron. <laughs> Please stop. What? Yo! <laughs> okay, alright. Alright. Rafi, just stop. Just stop. She's not feeling it at all. I was expecting this girl to cheat on Cameron. I'm gonna be so for real with y'all. And she is not budging. Period. Wait. <laughs> Not character development. <laughs> because if this was high school year, she would have most definitely cheated on Cameron. <laughs> like, if we're being honest, she would have fucked up with Rafi in this bed right here. Good for you, Chastity. Good for you. I'm so shook right now. Like, she was not feeling him at all. Like, I've never seen another sim be so put off. I'm so proud of Chastity. Like, not the actual character growth. I'm here for it. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This did not go as I thought it would. So I'm gonna have Gina go up to Cameron. Although she's too busy talking to Raheem. And I don't know, like it looked like they might be hitting it off, but I'm messy. We're just gonna start off with a hug. <laughs> it's the fact that they're both in their swimsuits. <laughs> Let me check on Chassie. I don't want her coming over here. I actually kind of want them to go um, somewhere else. Let's have um. Lumina. No, that would be so suspicious if they came into a bedroom. But I also don't want them flirting out in the open like this. Like I feel like everybody and their mother knows about him and Chastity. <laughs> Being in this hallway right here would be so perfect. You know what? Let me have Chastity um. Not her doing a keg stand with Devin. Why would she not get her man to do that with her? You know what? Okay, perfect. I'm thinking about having them play a game of darts and then like catching up with each other. So we're gonna go here. Let me see if you do an inside joke. Let's do an inside joke with him. Oh, she's feeling, oh wait, he's feeling very confident. Oh, not her walking fast. Are they about to do the keg stand right here? Now you playing darts with us right here, hello? <laughs> now you're laughing like it was that funny. Hold on now. <laughs> I'm just gonna have her go for you. Express admiration. Heartfelt compliment. Septo. Tachituni. Is that it? Gina, girl, you, this is coming from the same person that like straight up flirted with him. Wait, hello? What? What? 
What? <gasps> Excuse me? <laughs> Y'all? Y'all? Robbie! Oh my god. Why is Camille hooking up with Anthony? Hooked it with a guy for the first time, <laughs> and it was Anthony. <laughs> Camille, girl, what the hell do you have going on? This is so messy. Like I just don't even know what to do. This girl just hooked up with Seven's man. What even caused that? Like I can't even wrap my head. Yo, I can't even make a storyline out of this. First, it was Isabella. I tried to make a story out of that, and now it's Anthony. She just hooked up with one of Cameron's best friends. And she's good friends with Seven. Like, why was she? What? I'm so irritated right now with Camille. I'm so irritated with her. Girl, put your clothes back on. Like, I was expecting her to hook up. Just not with somebody else's man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she said, let me go to the movie my man. <laughs> Let me go over here and get my man. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> Why is he cheering his ex on? I'm so confused. I don't even know what I want to do now. Like, the goal was to have her hook up with somebody. I just. <sighs> Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> but speaking of Romeo, I think I'm going to control him and talk to Victoria for a bit. I guess he's moved on from Chastity if he's cheering Cameron on <laughs> while he's making out with her. Um, what is he doing? Oh, he wants to make a with Rafi. Let's do it. Oh, not at being four in the morning. Yeah, we might need to wrap up here. I'm going to have him talk to Victoria, though. I'm going to give her a hug. Oh, let me get she wait a damn minute <gasps> no way no way <laughs> Ryder <laughs> Y'all, they just hunching at this party. <laughs> they are just hunching. And Ryder's just in here chilling like, well, that's happening behind me. Ryder, please. Please leave. He's just chilling like, mm, interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> Eyes wide open for being around nude sim. It's Ryder just chilling right here for me. Hello? Not Kim in here chilling with Marcelo. No, let me find out something going on here. Is she still talking to Cameron? She is. Oh, They're both very flirty. They still don't know who who break though. <laughs> I would have them hunch, but no. Also, it's five o'clock in the morning. We gotta go home. I still cannot believe Camille. <gasps> Not her talking to Seven. Not her talking to Seven after she done hunched on her man. Oh, it's it's Seven being tense for me. You need to cuss Camille out. You need to cuss. <laughs> if only she knew. If only she knew. She's tense from the fire. She used to be tense because her man's cheating on her. Let's let's start there. Oh my gosh, y'all, Camille. Not him want to talk to Kim after he done hunched on Victoria. What are y'all talking about? Not them becoming good friends. This is so. This is so trifling. This is so. First of all, Camille, why are you wearing this outfit? I'm just not realizing that. We need to go home, y'all. We just need to go home. <laughs> just in the party. 
I gotta I gotta register what all just happens. Too many people done hooked up. Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know what? Because they were both faithful to each other, I'll let them hunch. I'll let them hunch when we get home. It's it's six o'clock in the morning though. I I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I was actually expecting both Chastity and Cameron to cheat on each other. Instead, Anthony done cheated on Seven with Camille. I kind of want to run with it. Like, having um, Camille secretly hook up with Anthony. I know so many of you guys thought that Camille was only into girls, but she is romantically attracted to both male and female sims. Th that- Anthony's the first male sim that she hooked up with. Okay, so we made it home, and as you can see here, Karen, Chastity, and a hunch. <laughs> they deserve it at this point. So while they're hunching, we're gonna talk about what we have planned for the twins before we switch over to Matthew. I'm just gonna have them sleep in, and then Camille's gonna cook waffles for everybody. And I thought it was gonna be a wholesome moment, but now that she's unhooked up with Anthony, there's gonna be some tension. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I still can't get over that. They're <laughs> so cute. Hello? Anthony! Oh my god. Child. <laughs> Privacy invaded? Well, yeah, because Anthony's in here. Anthony, go. Leave. Bye! Why did you even come in here? Like, lock this yeah, damn nah. door. Yeah, Completely satisfied. Pleasantly satisfied. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said <laughs> about know. Camille. She has yet to have a good woohoo experience with anyone. Oh, she's up. Okay, um, I guess she's well rested. Let me have her fill up her needs. Oh, Joy's in here. That's awkward. Have her use the restroom. Take a pregnancy? <gasps> no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Did she use protection with Anthony? Oh my god, I didn't think I had to worry about this with Camille. Oh my god. Camille, baby, please don't be pregnant. I already did that arc. Please. Hun, do not be pregnant. Please, 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 please do not be pregnant. Thank God, y'all. That had me so stressed. You would think I'm the one taking the test. I just cannot believe she hooked up with Anthony. Not pregnant from pregnancy test. The test came back negative. Camille's not pregnant. How, how wild would that have been, y'all? If she was pregnant with Anthony's child. Okay, I'm gonna fill up her bladder. Then we'll have her clean this and I'm actually gonna have her do a bit of laundry but a quick update on the twins I did have them do their homework so it should be all completed yeah it's all done not it already being 11 o'clock Cameron Chastity are both up let me check their needs she needs the restroom and shower oh Cameron's going through it where's Anthony <gasps> not them both being tense. Oh yeah, this ain't gonna last at all, y'all. I already kind of low-key expected it because I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't feel that much of a spark between them. Like I had to be the one to make them interact with each other. Like they never did it autonomously, which I don't know, to me that's like a red flag. Like I've never had to do that with um, Cameron and Chastity or even with Camille and Tasha. Like everything they've done has been autonomous, but with these two, like I have to like fight for them to <laughs> interact with each other. Um, I'll have him use the restroom while Chastity takes a quick shower. Okay, let's have Camille make waffles for everybody. We'll just make plain waffles. I'm really hoping it's gonna make like multiple servings cause I was hoping to feed like all of their roommates. Oh, not her having to take a pregnancy test too. They used protection last night, right? They, they did that, right? <laughs> I think the waffles are done. Please, please, please be multiple servings. Okay, there's eight servings. I think I'll have them all come. <laughs> Look at Joy taking a nap. I think I want to have them all come over to. Camille's place to enjoy them. The twins are currently enjoying their waffles and orange juice with all of their roommates, plus Chastity. 
And so I imagine that they're going to be celebrating New Year's Eve in San Marishuno, but I'm going to let them do their own thing tonight because we're going to be celebrating New Year's with Matthew. So I'm going to go over and switch over to Matthew and see how he's going to be celebrating New Year's in Brindleton Bay. We've made it to Brindleton Bay and we are currently at the Whitmore residence. But Matthew did not come to Brindleton Bay alone. He did bring Jordan, his girlfriend, along with him to meet his family. But before we get into that, let's talk about the lot that I'm using. So the original lot for this is made by Hey Harry. I'll have the YouTube video linked in the description down below, but I'm going to let you guys know now that all of the CC that I'm using in this build is mostly from her coastal collection. But let me show you guys Matthew's family. So the two sons in the middle are Matthew's parents, Natalie and Robert Whitmore. Natalie is a homemaker while Robert owns a fishing business. Matthew has two older brothers. The one on the left with the red hair is Ross and his wife Dakota and then the one on the right with the blonde hair is Thomas. Ross is the oldest. He is 30 years old. His aspiration is outdoor enthusiast and then his traits are bro, maker, and sincere. As for his occupation, he works for his father's fishing business. He is a fisherman. And a fun fact about Ross is that him and his wife are expecting. Dakota is in her second trimester and she's going to be having a baby girl, you guys. <laughs> And so I'm very excited about it because as you can see from the family, all of the Whitmore siblings are boys. And so I know that Natalie is very excited about having a granddaughter. But Ross and Dakota do live in Brindleton Bay. They live near the docks. As for Thomas, he lives in San Marciano. He is the middle child. He's 25. His aspiration is nerd brain. And then for his traits, he is creative, a bookworm, and whimsical. And then as for his occupation, he is a historian. And I like to imagine that he works at the San Marciano Art Center. But he is single. He isn't married. He is on the market. <laughs> and a fun fact about Thomas is that he has a beagle named Cooper. And so before I have Matthew introduce Jordan to his family, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of their house. At the entrance, you're met with their ring doorbell. When you enter their house, you are met with their dining room. Over here to your left is their living room. Here's what it looks like. We have a few pictures hanging up. I'm gonna show them to you guys because they took me quite a while to get. So we have Matthew's graduation picture. We have a picture of his parents here. And then over here we have Ross's and Dakota's wedding picture. And then over here we have Thomas and Cooper. But yeah, here's what their living room looks like. I am obsessed with their living room. Over here in the corner, we have like a bench area. We just have a few jackets and a scarf hanging here. If you go down the hall here to your left is the laundry room slash guest bathroom. But here is what the laundry unit looks like. And then here's what the bathroom side looks like. Going down this hallway here is the guest bedroom. And this is where Jordan and Matthew will be staying. As you can see here, they have their suitcases here. This is Matthew's luggage and then Jordan's belongings as well as a pair of boots. And then here's what their bathroom looks like. So we have a tub and a shower, double sinks, a nice view of the pool. <laughs> Um, in here is the toilet and then we have a closet, but as you can see here, it's been emptied out um, for guests to use, but because Jordan and Matthew are only going to be here for like a day, it's not really going to be needed. But like, can we talk about the lighting in this house? Can we please talk about the lighting? Like, hello? Look at the light coming through the blinds. Oh my gosh, y'all, the lighting in The Sims 4 is, it gags me every time. It is so good. Okay, going back out the bathroom into the guest bedroom again. Oh my gosh, y'all, I can't get over the blinds. I was inspired to use the blinds by one of my good friends, Maddie, aka Firefellow Sims, if you know her on Tumblr. Um, she uses blinds in her build sometimes, and I wanted to use them in this build, and I just love how much more realistic it makes your builds look. But going down, Back into the entry, we have the kitchen over here. And again, all of the cabinets and appliances are made by Harry. They're all from her coastal collection, but this is what it looks like. Um, these appliances here, this toaster, uh, this isn't functional, but this coffee machine is, is by Max 20. But yeah, I'm obsessed, y'all. 
I am so obsessed. And then we have the functional mixer made by Sixum over here in the corner and it matches perfectly with the Whitmore's navy decor. But if you go through these double doors here, we have Natalie in Robert's bedroom. And again, the lighting, y'all, the lighting. But here's what their bedroom looks like. All the decor looks the same, y'all. Again, I don't like to put too much detail into my side characters' homes, but I don't know, y'all. I kind of nibbled. For, for a side character's house, I nibbled a bit. <laughs> I definitely nibbled. <laughs> Um, another nice view of their pool, but we have those double sinks again, the shower tub combo, and then through this door here is the toilet. Going back out these double doors here, we're going to go ahead and go outside. Um, as you can see here, they have their pool and here's what it looks like. If you go down here and then make a left, we have like this fire pit area. Going up these stairs here, we have like a sitting area. Um, it has a TV, a fireplace, and then we also have in this corner here, a grill and an outdoor pizza oven. If you go through these double doors here, you are met in the living room again. But now we're gonna head to the second floor. We have two bedrooms up here. Um, but as you can see off this balcony, you have like the view of the living room. But I did not decorate the hallways on the second floor. I got lazy, but going through this door is another bathroom. I won't show all of it, but like, again, double sinks, shower tub combo, another toilet in this little room here. Um, here's like a little window. There's not like a good view. <laughs> But going out this door and then going through this door here, you guys, is actually Matthew's old bedroom that got converted into a nursery for Dakota and Ross's baby girl. You already know Natalie and Robert are going to be on grandparent duty, so they already have the nursery ready for their granddaughter's arrival. And then going through this door is Thomas's old room that has been converted into an office for Robert's business. So whenever he wants to work at home, he's able to. Um, and then we have his diplomas on the wall here. And that is pretty much it, you guys. That is the Whitmore family home. And can we please talk about how beautiful Brindleton Bay is, especially during the winter? Like, it is so stunning. I love the little town area over here. It's giving, it's giving Lifetime. <laughs> you know those like cheesy Lifetime movies where like the movie takes place in like a small hometown? That is what it's giving right now. Like, hello? What a vibe. Okay, so we're back at the Whitmer house and <laughs> I want Matthew to introduce his girlfriend to his brothers and to his parents. But before we do that, let's just briefly talk about what I have planned for the Whitmores for New Year's Eve. Honestly, we're not doing much. I just have them cooking dinner together and then watching the countdown in the living room. That That's pretty much it. <laughs> so going to be very laid back New Year's Eve. I'm going to have them set the vibe, turn the music on. I think we'll do... Let's do jazz music. Do I'm going to turn the TV off. But one thing about the Whitmores, <laughs> they all like to dance, y'all. <laughs> oh, I think Jordan's a Thompson talking to Ross. What's Matthew doing? Oh, he's introducing himself to Cooper. This might be his first time meeting Cooper. I don't know. I imagine like Thomas got him pretty recently. Why is he sad? I'm getting rid of that. Yo, look at Thomas. Look at Thomas. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. I don't know why his dad is tense, but I'm cheating it. Like, I don't have time for bad vibes. I'm so sorry. We don't have time for that. He don't even got a good reason to be tense. He just tends to be tense. We getting rid of that. So it looks like Jordan's already introduced herself to Ross. Val, Fredoya Biba Squadzo. Ross is so fine. Y'all. Let me chill. Look at them dancing. I'm trying so hard not to go, y'all. I'm. 
I'm like, like so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I can't even play the game, y'all. I'm so overwhelmed. Like, we're finally meeting Matthew's family. And they're all so adorable. Let me have Matthew introduce Thomas to Jordan as well. Talk up another sim, Jordan. Oh, my first book. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Is Dakota gonna dance too? Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Is her dad gonna dance too? Oh my gosh. Wow, Matthew. I wasn't aware that you felt so strongly about Jordan. She seems like good company. I'll chat with her soon. Jordan is great. Okay, let's have him introduce Jordan to his mom. Other Sims. Oh. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> this just might be the cutest episode I've ever filmed. Like, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's gonna introduce Jordan to his mom now. Merkid Quinofa. Yips. Hey Finn. Jordan sounds like she's an absolute pleasure to be around. Oh, she got along with her too. Jordan is great. I'm glad I got to know them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have Natalie start on dinner. So we're gonna have homemade pizza and then wine for tonight because I have yet to use the appliances that come with the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. And that pack has been out for like, what, a month now, a month, two months? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have her prep the ingredients for that. We're gonna make two different pizzas. Jordan and Matthew are gonna make their own pizza and then I'm gonna have Natalie make pizza for the rest of the family. I'm gonna see what flavors we can make. I'm so excited. This is my first time using this. Ooh, herb focaccia. Let's see, garden pizza, seafood pizza. This pizza has tomato, mozzarella, tuna, red onion, and olive oil. I may have Natalie make that for them because you know Robert does own a fishing business so I figure like they're all obsessed with seafood and then I might make the garden pizza for Matthew and Jordan and you know what I think we'll just make one pizza I think we'll do that because I don't know how long this is gonna take and it's already 5 30 so I think we need prepped dough prepped veggies and then prepped seafood so we'll start off with the dough I'll have Matthew feed Cooper <laughs> and then play with him for a bit. Oh my gosh, wait! Oh, he wants to chat with Cameron, y'all! That's so cute! It looks like he has a fear for unfulfilled dreams. Is there enough time for Matthew to fulfill his dreams? Maybe sharing these fears with someone close will help. Well, I don't know why he's feeling that way, but I haven't talked to Jordan about it. I think this is done. Collect prepped ingredients. <laughs> Y'all look at Cooper. Oh, she's autonomously talking to Jordan. Okay, girl. Not yet, not yet. Let's have you prep the veggies next. Look how cute that is! Oh, oh, Bimo. Plus yes. oh yes. You know what? We'll have Natalie talk to her for a bit. Let's see. Mm, What's she doing? Oh, she's goofing around with her. <laughs> oh, they're getting along so well. I'm so glad they are. <gasps> no! Did this just break? Did y'all hear that? Something just broke and I'm very annoyed. Oh, it's their, their fridge. Okay, let me have Robert come over here and repair this. Oh, that's so frustrating, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna have her collect the veggies and then we'll prep the seafood. Oh, y'all, look at Dakota. Oh. 
Is she cleaning up? Oh, she's talking to Cooper. Great music. Natalie seems to be enjoying this song. Should she embrace that she likes jazz music? Sure. I can see them liking jazz music. Y'all, look at Thomas still over here dancing. They are all Matthew, y'all. They are literally all Matthew. <laughs> Natalie over here dancing too, she is. Girl, collect the vegetables, please. I'm gonna have Jordan talk to Dakota. Let's do a friendly introduction. Hope we got first in Crush? Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, she's starving, y'all. Oh, she just started her period. Girl, I was gonna have you and Matthew hunch. Hold on. <laughs> they was gonna hunch tonight. Um, she got a crush on Dakota? I don't know, maybe, is this sentiment of appreciation? It feels like love at first sight, wise maybe, maybe not, irresistible, very much so. What if she's like, well, this is like a girl crush, y'all. I mean, I don't know what Jordan's sexual orientation is. She might be into, she might be into girls too. And then it looks like she got another first impression. Interesting sim. There's just something about Dakota that just seems to vibe in a way that appeals to Jordan. And then, unfortunately, Dakota does not think the same of Jordan. She has the unreliable first impression. A sim who gives the impression that they can never stick to one thing, place, a job, or a person doesn't inspire Dakota to build a friendship. So I think she thinks that Jordan and Matthew aren't long term. Like, that's the impression she's getting from Jordan. But everybody else has been getting along with Jordan. And I'm not really understanding why Dakota wouldn't get along with her. Like, of all people, I thought Dakota would be the most accepting since they're both in a relationship with a Whitmore, but, but I guess not, y'all. Okay, I think Natalie is done with all the ingredients. So we're gonna have her come outside and use the pizza oven. Y'all, you know, this is so cute. I love this outdoor pizza oven. It's CC. It's not an in-game item. If I can remember who this is by, I'll probably put a link to it in the description or um, post it on my CC Finds page. While we wait for the pizza to cook, I'm gonna have him talk to Jordan. We'll do an inside joke. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's feeling confident. Hanging with bros. Not everyone being so hungry. I know, girl, I know. The pizza is almost ready. Let me see how much longer we have. Oh, it's done, it's done. Okay, okay. Let me have Natalie come and get it. Like, everyone is starving, y'all. Matthew! Oh my gosh, Matthew! Did he just serenade her? I think he just serenaded Jordan. Hello? Oh I'm gonna have Robert for everybody a glass of Pinot Blanc. And then we're gonna have Natalie call everyone to eat. You know the food good when everybody not talking. Oh, not Jordan flirting, girl. Not at the table. Oh, Yibs, Kunata. Oh, they're already watching the um the New Year's channel. I don't know why, but Robert only poured himself a glass of wine. Now, what everybody else supposed to drink on for New Year's Eve? I'm gonna serve drinks here, and we'll do champagne actually. Champagne rosé, champagne gold. Let's do, let's do the gold. I think. Oh, the countdown's about to start. Okay, you guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab a drink with everybody. Oh, this is so cute. Everybody grab a glass. Oh shoot, oh shoot. No, Dakota, you know you're dead ass wrong for coming over here. <laughs> she was quick to come over here too. Absolutely not. 
Oh, she has an uncomfortable buff from craving rich food. Dakota is dreaming of greasy pizza, cheese loaded mashed potatoes. Girl, you just ate pizza. I mean, you got another serving though. You eat for two, girl. Yeah, you eat that instead. Oh my gosh, y'all, the countdown's about to start. Look at everybody drink. Now, why does Robert have two glasses in his hand? I am so weak. <laughs> what a mood, y'all. What a mood. <laughs> y'all, look at Cooper. Oh, they're counting down. Shashubi! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all! Oh, Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, is Ross about to kiss Dakota? Oh, he's giving his brother a hug. Okay, Matthew. You know you need to give- Oh wait, I think he's about to give his dad a hug. I'll let him do that. And then we'll give Jordan a kiss. Give her a little New Year's smooch. Oh, someone just kissed! I heard it! Oh, I missed it! Dang, I missed it. Thomas said, I'm gonna be reviving. <laughs> Is he hugging him? Is that a shared New Year's Eve spirit? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Is he tense? Love Lauren for romantic trait. He doesn't have this trait. But it's okay. I got you. I got you, baby Matthew. Go ahead and give her a kiss. Oh! Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Y'all, look at Robert. Look at Robert. Break it down. Bust it down, Robert. <laughs> she doing? Oh, they gossiping. They're probably talking about that tailgate party. <laughs> so much went down at that tailgate party, y'all. I still cannot get over Camille and Anthony. Like... That is gonna be a whole arc, y'all. <laughs> They're so adorable. Y'all, look at him looking at her. <laughs> Matthew is so in love, y'all. I love it. Oh, look at him and his dad. <laughs> Reach from its skill level two. I'll have Matthew be a good son. And clean up. Okay, it's two o'clock in the morning. Before I end the party, I'm gonna have Matthew say bye to his brothers. We're gonna say bye to Ross first and then Thomas, and then we're gonna end the party so that he can head home. Ah, Bibidoy! Ah, yeah, know it. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Dupa. <laughs> What are we complaining about? I don't know what they're complaining about. Ask what happened. Alright. Okay, where's Thomas? Oh! Thomas went to use the restroom. Alright, we're gonna end the party now. So that they can head home. <laughs> Robert is over here feeling the liquor. <laughs> Son, y'all, this is taking me out. And Bobby, okay, looks like she's catching up with Natalie before bed. I don't know why she's hungry again. I'm just gonna cheat that, y'all. It's like Matthew's brothers went home. Can I have him use the? Be like a champion. Oh, he's feeling confident. Oh, period. Say less. <laughs> So it's a little bit later, I had Matthew and Jordan change into their sleepwear and now they're back in the living room playing party frenzy together before they head to bed. Okay, oh, also, <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute! Matthew's parents are in the bedroom sleeping. 
But since they're sleeping, <laughs> I'm gonna have him um talk to Jornovitz. Um, let's see. I hate that it's 5:30 in the morning. I would love to adjust my MC settings so that the time goes slower, but I am just so paranoid of my save file breaking from that. I've heard so many horror stories of people's save files breaking from it. I just feel like time goes by so quickly in the game. Y'all, it's the sun rising for me. <laughs> get it, Matthew, get it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. No. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me have them take it to the bedroom. <laughs> Not y'all trying to hunch in the living room. <laughs> y'all, it's 7.30. The sun is up. They done pulled an all-nighter hanging out in the living room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and now she's angry from her period, irritated. Right now is not a good time for any Sim to be messing with Jordan. The stress that her menstrual cycle can cause just makes the world itself so much more annoying. I'm hoping that this little- Oh! Hoping that this little hunch is session gonna help with that. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> not been using the pillow. Wait, what? New personality trait. Jordan has not been feeling very romantic lately and starting to feel kind of unflirty. No. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me she. Oh my goodness. That woohoo didn't go so well. How embarrassing. Looming anxiety from fear of being cheated on. Sore back from cheat bed. Now hold on. Ain't none too about this bed. Hello? Y'all, <laughs> Jordan finna make me mad. Feels like it has been forever since Jordan has been romantic with her partner. Y'all just hunched. He just clapped your cheeks, ma'am. What are you? Okay, all right. It's the romance skill, y'all. It's the romance skill. Because her and Matthew both have a low romance skill, I feel like the woohoo isn't gonna be that great. So maybe they need to work on getting their skill up before they woohoo next time. That's what it's giving, because it says here that Matthew is unsatisfied from low romance skill. Okay. Like, I know practice makes perfect, but I think I'm actually gonna wrap up today's episode here. So next episode, we're gonna be continuing the weekend and we're actually not gonna be with the twins again. Next episode is gonna be focused on chastity. So we'll be spending the first day of the new year in San Marcino with her. Her and Cameron's anniversary is actually coming up. I believe their anniversary is on Monday. So we'll need to plan for that as well. And then we also need to um, focus on Camille and Anthony. It's so crazy. Crazy though because thinking back on it I had suspected Anthony to have a crush on Camille back in high school years like there were signs where I just felt like Anthony had like feelings towards Camille and I think at the Toge party they both had alcohol in their system and then one thing led to another Anthony has been like one of Cameron's very first friends he made at Copperdale, like they've been longtime friends. And so maybe that's why Anthony has been hesitant on trying to pursue Camille because of that reason, but he kind of just couldn't hold his temptations back any longer. I don't know y'all, we're, we're gonna have to dive into that storyline later down the road. But in terms of Matthew and Jordan, I think their relationship's going pretty smoothly. They have a little hiccups, little bumps in the road, but it's just solely because their romance skill is low. So we'll need to work on that. As far as Jordan being a family, everyone's gotten along with her except for Dakota but I don't really care for Dakota because she's not even a Whitmore for real okay she got married into the bloodline so I'm not even sending her like that I don't care for her approval as long as we got approval from Miss Natalie and Mr. Robert we're good Jordan's good I think her and Matthew are pretty solid we just gotta work on their romance we just gotta have them go on dates you know have Matthew research woohoo techniques <laughs> on the computer because he definitely needs to do that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i for sure did definitely think it was one of my new favorite episodes but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and comment i would very much appreciate it please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of my discovery university let's play series and i'll see you guys in my next video